So I'm not sure where you are from, but if you are uh, from uh, Europe like I am, at the moment the weather is really uh, terrible this year and it's very hard to get uh, good photos. It's always raining, so there is no light. And when it's not raining, the light is just not very good. So yeah, I'm sure that some of you are going to tell me that we can wait, but we don't always have the luxury to wait days or hours when we are traveling or on the go. So today I'm going to show you a technique inside of Photoshop that you can use to bring life to your images. And I have a little gift for you, so wait until the end of the video to get your free gift. So I am in Photoshop with this image here. And uh, let's say that I don't really like the sky in this image because that's very cloudy. And there is really nothing interesting in this sky. So I could decide to choose another sky. So what I'm gonna do is to go to edit and uh, click on sky replacement. That's an amazing tool in Photoshop very easy to use. I'm going to show you that now. So click on sky replacement and uh, then here I have a sky that is going to uh, be plugged automatically but I want to use my own sky. So I'm going to click here to create a new sky that I'm gonna call Imagine Skies. I click OK and uh, then I'm going to click plus. Then I go uh, grab my sky pack. So here I'm going to select all the skies that I want uh, and then I click open and it's going to load all my skies. So here you can see it's creating new sky preset. There are 24. So I'm just going to wait that it's done to be uh, loaded. And now you can see that all my 24 uh, sky presets are in my uh, folder Luimagine Skies. So here I'm just gonna have a look at uh, the different skies. And you can see that it really gives a different vibe to our image just by changing uh, the sky. So here, let's see, I'm gonna check all of them and see which one uh, I prefer. So all the skies are not going to fit with your image. Here, for example, I know that I have some uh, night skies and I'm pretty sure it's not going to fit well because this is not an night image. So we would have to change the wall lighting of our image. So here, let's try. See, it just doesn't match with the edges. So we could make it work, but in an image like that, that wouldn't make any sense to use a sky that is very dark and uh, very starry because this is not the vibe at all of our image. So here, um, let's see. I saw one that I kind of liked at the beginning. I think that was this one. Yeah. I think this one uh, could fit pretty well. Um, okay, I'm going to choose this one because I think it looks great and you can see the preview. So here, this is before without sky replacement and here this is after and you can see that it's kind of making our image more interesting automatically. So then you have different settings. And I would recommend you uh, to play around with them so you can see what they are doing. And uh, I am going to uh, show you what they are doing, but that's always best to try out yourself so you can really uh, feel uh, what it's happening. So that's why I recommend you to play around with those settings. So shift edges, so look at the edges and we can see that if we uh, go uh, to the left side, uh, we are kind of back with our initial sky and if we go to the, to the uh, right side it's kind of coming inside of our building here so you need to uh, find something that will uh, not really destroy your image so here uh, actually I think that uh, minus one like zero is great for this image so a uh, fade ages that the name says it all it's going to fade um, the ages so here I also think that like 50 uh, was great and you can see that if we want something very faded it's always keeping um, our initial skies behind it. It's not like uh, an empty layer uh, behind the sky that we are changing. We are always coming back to the initial sky so it makes it very uh, natural. So I'm gonna keep 50% here then the sky adjustment. If you don't see those settings, you might have to click on the little arrows here. So here, this is going to affect 
um, the uh, sky only. So here this is the brightness of our sky. So you can change depending on what you like best. And here this is the temperature uh, of our sky. So more towards blue or more towards yellow. Here I like something more towards blue. Yeah, something like this and then scale that is going to scale your sky so if you want something more like this with bigger clouds or something um, smaller but then uh, be careful to have a sky that is going to fill your image so here uh, I'm going to keep at um, yeah 100 that is perfect and uh, you can also click on your sky and uh, change the position of your sky so if you want something more with the clouds here or with less clouds we can just uh, bring it to the left so yeah don't forget that you can do that sometime in the sky there are parts that are more interesting than others so yeah don't forget that you can also flip the sky so let's say you want the light to come uh, from the left then this is more interesting to have your sky like this and if you want the light coming from the right then flipping it to have it uh, from coming from the right is more interesting now foreground uh, lighting is going to affect the wall image so here you can see that is affecting the sky and the image age lighting is going to affect the lighting of the edges and uh, color adjustment is also going to affect the wall image now for the output you have output to new layers duplicate layers i'd recommend to keep it uh, as it is output to new layers and when you are happy uh, with your setting you can just click ok and here you can see it's very interesting and that's why i love this tool it's creating layers inside of a folder which means this is non-destructive you can always go back you can see here this is before and this is after and i still have my image here and here just by toggling on this folder i can see my sky and this is even more interesting because we can see how the adjustments are made so we can see that our sky is here on this layer and we can even see the mask so if we need to fix the mask because we think the mask has not been done uh, perfectly we can do it here we just choose a black or white color and we can paint on the mask here then we can see that the sky temperature is has been made with a color balance adjustment and uh, the sky brightness has been made with the brightness and contrast adjustment so here you can see and if you want to do uh, some adjustments you can do it here uh, manually then we have the edge lighting group and here the foreground lighting so everything has been made uh, with adjustment layers so that's really interesting and you can do your own uh, adjustment if you are not happy uh, with the settings after you click ok on the sky replacement tool which makes it a very amazing tool in my opinion so that's it i was explaining in detail so this tutorial was a little long but when you are doing it yourself once you have uploaded the skies presets you can just choose your sky in seconds do your settings very quickly and in less than a minute you have a new sky that, that gives a new vibe to your image also i always recommend to do your sky replacement at the very beginning of the edit so here you can see the image is not edited yet but if you want to uh, apply the right colors the right lighting to your image you need to have the new skies otherwise it's always going to change the vibe the colors uh, the lighting of your image when you have a new sky so that's it for this tutorial if you want to get uh, some uh, free skies presets i will add the link in the description for you to uh, download them uh, on Gumroad. Thank you for watching this video. If you want to get three sky for free to test out this technique, you can download them using the link in the description. See you in the next video and don't forget to like this video and to subscribe to my channel to don't miss the next videos. See you in the next one.